photo from there, so I want to make sure that I'm not failing my back. And you have plenty of room behind the couch. And I'm going to start off with a trapezius brace there. So a trapezius brace is just really good effleurage. We start with fingertips just underneath the ears here. We're going to slide down with our fingers until we reach the uh, clavicle there and our thumbs meet the clavicle and our fingers. So we make that triangle, that lovely triangle shape. Now even with a female, you're not going to be going anywhere that is too um, intimate. When we get to that position, when our thumbs are hooked onto the clavicle and our fingertips are together there, we're going to twist our hands together so we've got our fingertips facing each other. Then we're going to separate our hands, come around the shoulder girdle and up into the oxygen process. Okay. So slide down into the triangle, twist so our fingertips are together, around the shoulders and slide up the trapezius into the occipital vein. So rock, twist, around, all back. There's a nice little traction just on the back there as well, which is really quite nice to do. Kneading is very difficult on women very often, so there are different ways in which to do it. However, if you just keep your hands nice and flat and moving across, then it should be quite safe. We can use our knuckles. If we don't want to knead, we can use knuckles. So it's a bit of a walk in the park. We use the flat of our knuckles there and we just have a little walk in a circle. We can use that instead of our kneading. I like to just separate the muscles. We've got our clavicle there and we can just stretch away the muscles. Now, again, there are different ways of doing this depending on your female and male patients. If you've got a male patient, then we can just do some and some and stretch away. If we have a female patient, then we might want to do things on fingers and work along that way there on both sides. I also like to do the intercostal muscles, so I can do the intercostal muscles, I can either use my fingers on fingers, so if I come to the sternum there, I feel the gap between the ribs there, and I can use fingers on fingers and just gently palpate and stretch. So that's really enough of a massage for most people because it's been quite tender and quite painful. Or I can use my thumb tips, or I can use my knuckles, so depending on my patient, depending on my therapist, you should be able to find something that would be most appropriate for them. Again, you're looking at straight lines. Okay. So some, if you've got somebody with hyperextended thumbs, then this is probably a really bad position, so they might need to use a finger on finger or a knuckle on there. And you can work across, come back down to the sternum, go down to the next um, intercostal and work across. You possibly may be able to see on your, on your slight patients, the third one, it's unlikely to be able to get the, um, the pectoral muscle other than that. But it can be very tender, so it's quite a, a, quite a nice one to do because it really does open it out. And again, you can do some kneading, either knuckles or kneading from both sides there. And then finish off with again a trapezius brace. And then a nice little traction just at the end of the 